Now we are ready to um, create the bump map and the texture. So let's open the two UV snapshots that we just created. Bring those in. And now let's um, create that OZ logo that's on the website. So go to the website. Um, you find here under the media center. Go to the ADV campaign. And down here, the white Porsche with the golden rims, click on that, that's a PDF. Download that and put that uh, to your source images folder. And that's where I put mine, so I already already downloaded it, okay? So back to Photoshop. Let's open that PDF file. See here, GT Porsche PDF. Import that, say okay. Takes a second to load up. And now let's uh, rotate that, go to image, and go to image rotation, and let's uh, rotate that 90 degrees clockwise. So now um, let's just uh, cut out that OZ logo down there. Let me zoom in a little. So for that, I'm taking the magic tool here. I set the tolerance to 10 anti-alias, but you see that up here. Mm. So, okay, click on that white area, shift click on that dot here, and shift click on the Z. So now we can copy that, control C, and then go back to our um, UV map. So let's um, just copy that uh, in here, so control V, and there you go. So there's uh, our logo. Uh, let's create a new layer first. Click on that button here, and let's fill that uh, layer that we just created with a 50% gray. Um, to do this, um, you just type in here under red, green, and blue, um, 128. Okay, so take the paint bucket tool and fill that layer. So we drop that under uh, over the background. So there you go, there is our logo on top of the 50% gray. So now um, let's uh, drop down the opacity of that uh, gray layer to see the UV grid in the background. Okay, select that OZ layer. Uh, zoom in on that. And I see it has to be scaled down. Um, so to scale it down, uh, hit Control T, and then Shift um, and scale down to scale it proportionally to something about here. Hit Enter, move that up, and then let's rotate that guy. So Control T, hit Control T, and then rotate that just in place. So hit Enter. Okay, let's go up here to edit and then go to transform. Um, let's warp this. Go up here and set this to arc. And then let's uh, bend this down to a negative value here. Um, let's try minus 10. Um, let's try something like minus minus 9 or 8. So yeah, something something like this. Yeah. So now we um, have to create um, the racing um, text here. So go to your text tool and drag it in here and then say OK, racing. And I don't want this 50% gray, I want that white. Okay, so now let's try to stretch it out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's try to use a bigger font. Okay, maybe we scale that down just a little bit in something like this. So now we can uh, warp this text, so go up here and say warp. 
Okay, so click on that uh, text button here, and then up here, click on that little symbol here and say, okay, another arc. And uh, the logo was minus eight or nine, so let's try something like minus eight. Uh, let's bring that into position. Um, rotate that. Okay, hit enter and put that yeah, somewhere somewhere here. Okay, so th this is the idea. Um, so I'm gonna uh, go on and um, copy that and bring that down here um, to uh, the other parts. Um, so when I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you how my uh, bump map looks like, okay? Because uh, th there is no need watching me uh, doing this boring work, okay? So see you soon. So yeah, back, so this is um, my bump map. Um, yeah, you can go in there and create uh, something that looks like this here, right? So now let's take care about the um, other texture that we need. So we want to create the carbon fiber um, and the logo on here. So let's uh, go to Firefox. And if you type in under images, a carbon fiber texture under um, large images, you will find this uh, 3K texture it's black carbon fiber texture by black marble or so so with that um, you uh, click on that right click and save that under your images folder or source images so let me go back to my um, Photoshop and let's bring that in so I already opened that up here so um, you hit control a to select all hit control C to copy and then go to your um, UV layout here snapshot and copy that in um, let's scale that down a little bit so hit ctrl T and hold shift down scale that bring that in yeah something like that okay so now um, let's create uh, the logo on top of that um, for that um, I still have the uh, PDF file open and I still got the, the OZ logo here selected so hit Control C to copy that go back to your UV and then hit Control V to paste that in so now let me zoom in a little and then okay um, let's check out the uh, size of that logo here um, yeah let's scale it down a hit Control T and then shift and scale it down so I bring this in the center here I think it could be a little bit smaller so somewhere about here and now let's create uh, let's apply the transformations and then let's create um, a rounded rectangle let's put that here Let's fill that with, with white. And then scale that down a little bit. Okay. And now let's uh, insert that raising text that's under it. And type again, type in raising. And let's move that. Yeah. I think I'm going with this one here. So now let's turn on the carbon fiber again. Yeah. I mean, you can tweak this uh, till death if you want to. For now, I leave it uh, like it is and I save that out as a JPEG. And then uh, I'll be back in Maya to put uh, all the textures and the, the bump maps uh, on our mesh. Okay.